So Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is coming out this week, and since my brain is so infested with Marvel, I want to do something special. So I took the time to watch a trailer for every single movie and show that's included in the MCU. And you know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do one sentence trailer reviews. Before we get started, please be sure to smack the sh out of the subscription button so I can keep bringing you quick little bites of content and you can get back to your day. Now that you've hit the subscription button, let's get into it. If you're rich and handsome, even the trauma of being kidnapped can't catch up with you. Biological warfare is okay, if it's for America. I mean, maybe we, uh, maybe we should have just gotten rid of the suit. Why is Earth... You know what? No. It makes complete sense that Earth is the optimal place for punishment. CGI Chris Evans still and always will look like a sewer rat. Avengers! Assemble. Tony, baby. You're just experiencing PTSD. You romance one god one single time, and now you're wrapped up in the War of the Worlds. Bucky will not forgive, nor will he forget. But Steve absolutely will forget. He will. Hooked on a feeling. Do, 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 do. I'm high on believing. Do, 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 do. That you're in love with me. Hey, Siri. Will AI turn on us one day? You're telling me the best superhero concept we had left was a bug. Come on, you guys. Can't we all just be friends? What happened to shawarma? Anyone? Mental breakdown equals interdimensional travel. Got it. Peter has copious amounts of daddy issues. I still think Toby was better. Thor, yet another Avenger that is now a prisoner of war. Why does Thanos kind of look like my dad? More bugs. Great. Finally, a girl boss. Oh snap. Who was defending Europe before Spider-Man got here? They're... There really are people trapped in the TV box. Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie finally get the screen time they deserve. Owen oh, Wilson. An Avenger has family that isn't dead or a god or both? Daddy issues. For once, the strange object floating in the sky wasn't so bad. They want to be Katniss so bad. Canonical confirmation that Scooby-Doo does exist in the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> Develop a sleep disorder and you too can become a superhero. Even gods are bad with women. Men. What can you do? I am Groot. And I'm crying again. Paul Rudd is... Still just Paul Rudd, but this time in a different dimension. Kidnapping is okay if it's in the name of Christmas spirit. Nick Fury is back, baby! Corny, corny, and corny. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Marvel never gives up on a franchise this easily. Marvel, continually making Marvel fanboys mad with the mere existence of women. F yeah. Moderately relevant TV show bonus round. He's alive? She's beauty. She's grace. She's Marvel's OG girl boss. Mutants touch grass for the first time. You're telling me Hell's Kitchen isn't just a TV show? Why does every single superhero go through egregious amounts of trauma? Like, is that in the contract or something? More biological engineering. Did we not learn the first 20 times? The only way to fight capitalism is with martial arts. The Avengers Light. Marvel's much more bitter version of Batman. With guns. You guys look pretty similar to the Teen Titans. Do you get it? Cause, cause one of them has a cloak and, and the other has a dagger? Oh, so, so we're delving into the supernatural now. Okay. Can Marvel just like stop reminding me of the possibility of different dimensions? Cause like it really stresses me out and kills the vibe.